Hello and welcome to part four of our tutorial how to turn a simple ceiling design into a production drawing. In part four uh, we'll look at a typical way to add dimensions uh, to a reflected ceiling plan and some of the particular considerations that relate to reflected ceiling plans. So let's turn to annotating and dimensioning this drawing. To do this we need to think about how the drawing outputs. So in AutoCAD we bring in the paper space of this uh, drawing or this CAD drawing. At the moment, as I said, we're drawing in AutoCAD's model space. When you switch to paper space, um, we now have a representation of the uh, drawing as it will appear on a piece of paper. So that's what we'll be doing. But before that, there's there's really one thing to, to add. And that's when we come to dimension the ceiling, the ceiling plan, everything is symmetrical and centered. So in a sense, it doesn't matter what the distance is between the edge of an item and the perimeter of the room. It's the fact that it's centered um, in the room so that each so that this dimension here is equal to that dimension for example and that dimension equal to this one now uh, it would be easier when it comes to dimensioning if we have some center lines in this model so we'll do um, all our notes and dimensioning in paper space again that's an that's an option that I, or a choice that I've made you AutoCAD you can do it with your dimensioning and notes in model space but I prefer them to do them in paper space where you can set the size of dimensions uh, the size of the text everything uh, and in relation to how you know the drawing is going to be outputted and it makes it I think it makes it easier to consider all that not while you're in paper space however let's put the, the center lines into the the model space so we so really need another layer which we'll call center lines I'll have it white pen thickness, um, we don't need much of a pen thickness on that, so we have 0.13 and oh, well, no, let's do it in grey, not white, and just make it um, less visible on the screen. Uh, and for centre line, we don't want to have a continuous line, we want the centre line symbol, which is a broken line, and because I've tested it uh, before, I know that this one will come look um, okay in model space. And it's a good representation of uh, helps us to to keep track of the fact that it is a centre line because it looks like a centre line. So let's put that in and make that onto the current layer and draw some centre lines. go from the midpoint of this room to the midpoint and midpoint to midpoint. Now I can see that there's immediately that there's something wrong here uh, because uh, this grid line should be actually on the center line so let's shift all this lot I don't know how I made that mistake but there, we, there you go I have so we just have to put it right So we've got our centre lines in. Just drag these the end beyond the end of the room. There we go. 
So we're now ready to dive into AutoCAD's paper space and start adding uh, dimensions and notes. So this is what we'll do. Let's now switch to paper space and you can see this is a representation of uh, the paper sheet that it's going to be on um, and that's the viewport in, in which we're, we're working. Now um, this has got the default uh, layer um, settings for, for the page setup. Um, we just want to uh, think about how how our drawing is going to, to feature on a page. So the first step is what scale and a good scale for reflected ceiling plans of a single room would be uh, 1 to 50. And if you remember when we clicked on the length of the room it was 13.5 metres. If you look at a scale rule 1 to 50, uh, which is what I'm doing, uh, you can't see it so I'm just doing it here in front of me, I can see that uh, yes it will just fit lengthwise onto a sheet of A4 uh, but that won't leave anything around the margins of the drawing for title blocks and things like that and extra notes as they might come along uh, revisions and what have you uh, so it really ought to go onto an A, A3 page at 1 to 50 so that's what we'll do here we'll modify this page modify um, we'll print a PDF so that'll be our printer and we want a 3 um, come to the scaling in a, in a moment and um, pen style table again we'll come to that in a moment but this basically is setting up a page So good. We've got. We now see the size of the A3 uh, page. So we need to uh, resize our viewport to to fill. We need to fill the page. And the the drawing we have here um, has ended up being whatever the default was when we went from. Um, model space to paper space and we want this to come onto the paper space at 1 to 50 as we said uh, so we need to just flick back to, to model space and uh, adjust the uh, the settings so that when it goes into paper space it come, it's, everything is at 1 to 50 and in AutoCAD um, the way of doing that is to use the zoom command and you go one slash fifty XP, and there we have it. Um, that's sitting at um, one to fifty on an A3 sheet. So now just go into the paper space window, and um, we don't actually need the view into the drawing as big as we've got it. So we can just restrict that to what we're actually showing on the drawing. Something like that would be fine. Um, and we can move this whole the whole um, viewport around on the page. page for title lock and what have you. So now we're in paper space, the thing's sized at 1 to 50 on the A3 sheet. Now let's go for dimensioning and annotation. So let's start by doing the dimensions uh, across the room and we'll start with some dimensions for, for this and then take them as a set of dimensions going across here so you'll see what I get up to. Pick the end here oh, 
I'm in the wrong layer. Uh, we can see that the layer is, I, I've got started dimensioning in the center line layer, that's why these lines have come out broken. And you'll also see, uh, we can imagine on an E3 sheet that um, this looks to me to be a little small uh, as a as a uh, as a tech the font size. Um, just sort of debating that at the moment. Yeah, I think it needs to be a bit bigger. So let's um, start altering these things, and you can see. And there we go. It sort of popped up to be a little bit bigger, and I think that's probably the the right size in, in relation to the page. So. Now that we've got this far one dimension, um, with AutoCAD you click continue and then you can carry on dimensioning down the, the line. So our problem here, we want to go on to the, make sure we dimension, this is a thin item that the ceiling tracks, we want to dimension to the center of it, which is there. And then to the center line. the center of the next ceiling track to the center of the ceiling tiles and then to the center uh, not the center the edge of the ceiling tiles there we go and we well, immediately see that there's a there's a problem with uh, this setting out side to side it's not central on the room so we'll just let's analyze what's wrong here possibly this looks like it's horizontal but it obviously isn't let's get rid of this whoops let's draw these center lines again Normally, uh, on the screen, you can tell whether there's something, just visually, whether something's not horizontal or not. But in this case, it obviously didn't happen. Let's flick over to the uh, center line layer and draw in the center lines again. Midpoint there. To midpoint there. Yeah, that's better. Possibly what happened was when I did this manually extending it out. I haven't I need to set my orthogonal locks and make to make sure I don't drift drift out. So there we go. So here we are. Um it we've skipped a few stages um, because because you could see where it was going and although it was we kept the putting right the mistake in in the video because it's sort of helpful to see the steps to put it right and it helps you to get to grips with the whole process of drawing. Uh, anyway, we've we've skipped the stage, the the, the 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 final steps of that, and you can see now that we've moved straight to the point where the the center lines are now in the right place and we've put the strings of dimensions in so that's the ceiling all dimensioned it just needs um, some annotation and, and that'll be um, really as far as we need to take it in terms of setting up a, a, a production drawing there are obviously things like title blocks and stuff but that's sort of that's easy just put make your own up or, or, or get one that the office uses or whatever um, don't really need much instruction on that so uh, we'll now go to um, putting some notes in.